Welcome to European Railway issue number 73, the DVD magazine for the continental enthusiast. In this programme, we call into the south end of Brugge station on one of the main routes out of Zurich towards Basel. Brittany is our next stopover as we experience some French lineside action. A trip to the Austro-Hungarian border at Hegi Shalom. We travel to the island of Sardinia and to an interesting narrow gauge line. A return trip to France as we look at local hauled operations to the northeast of Paris. And part two of our look at the main freight line to the south of Duisburg in Germany. We begin the programme from northern Switzerland and to the town of Brugge, which lies around 32 kilometres to the west of Zurich on the main route towards Basel as well as on the line towards Alton. Our visit focused on the south end of the station at a position on the end of the customer car park, whilst we were en route to film the Gotthardbahn the next day. Our stopover lasted for around 90 minutes, and this is a selection of some of the trains seen. The date is the 3rd of June 2016. Heading into the station from the Olten line is one of the hourly interregional services from Bern to the capital Zurich, headed by Class 460 locomotive number 081. Not far behind, we see 46006 dropping down from the Basel route with the slightly delayed 1737 service from Basel. Sister locomotive number 460073 positions its train of empty coaching stock into the sidings adjacent to the west to south spur. It was turning out to be a bit of a Class 460 fest, with another at the rear of this, the 1806 service from Zurich to Bern. The loco on the rear this time, number 048, 
was sporting an advertising livery promoting SBB Railway reduced price tickets. The vinyls have been on the locomotive since at least the 2nd of December 2014, when the Railway Ticketing Initiative celebrated its 15th year of operation. A ceremony involving the locomotive took place in Lucerne on the 9th of December that same year. Line S12S barn services terminate here. These are generally worked by class 450 locomotive and permanently coupled coaches on the route from Winterthur. Class 560 units are common, such as on services to and from Baden. This is unit 56263. It was originally set number 079, before receiving a major refurbishment as part of a programme that began in 2008. Freight traffic levels see maybe two services each way per hour, but this really depends on the time of day. Heading west with a trainload of aggregate wagons is RE66 number 604. Another regular performer on the line are Class 523 units, mainly on services to and from Turgi. This is set number 41. We saw the front of 514057 lurking on the right of our previous sequence. Here it heads into the carriage sidings in the company of set number 004. Class 511 units are double-deck train sets built by Stadler in 2010, whereupon they began entering service from March 2011 onwards. They are common in this area. This is set number 22 on a service for Olden. More traditional power on view now as RE44 number 11144 heads away from the station stop with the 1836 from Zurich to Basel.
freight train number 66444 was running to time when it was caught by the camera at 10 past 7 with 11672 and 11334 providing the power. The empty fuel train in tow is bound for Basel Mutens yard and thence onwards into Germany. This was followed by freight train number 60475 from Mutens to Zurich Limital. Power was provided by 11657.
The main rail route from Basel to the Gotthard passes over the tracks to the west of the station. Here an unidentified Class 185 heads south, with a mixed freight from Mannheim to Chiasso. Once the main commuting period was over, freight trains were appearing thick and fast. This is number 11614 on a service from Limmatal to Basel. One eight five one forty heads north towards Basel with a mixed freight from Italy. Finally, 460.015 rounds the curve off the Basel line with the 1913 service from Basel to Zurich. Northwestern France is our next stop, as we look at typical observations on the main line to the west of Rennes on the route out to Brest. We chose a number of locations, the first in the west at the junction town of Plurarie Trégor, near to the branch to Lannion, the second slightly to the east, the third not far from saint Brieu and the final location just north of Rennes, on the line to Saint-Malo. We begin at Pluary Trégor, as new class Z55500 electric train set number 29, comprising set numbers Z55557 and 558, pauses at the station on a driver training run from Rennes to Brest. 14 of these Regio 2N8 car units work here in Brittany, as well as another seven six-car versions. They were largely procured to replace the BB25500 locomotives on push-pull services.
This is the 1034 from Brest to Rennes, formed by two Class Z21500 units, numbers 562 and 575. Both date from 2004. Resting in the yard was this ex-German Class 211 diesel, now used for track maintenance. The branch line service for Lannion is operated by a single class Z73500 railcar number 695. This is the 1134 departure. We now move to our next location, close to the village of Castel Melusi, as the 0908 from Paris to Brest, formed by units 363 and 364, pass the camera. TGVs operate to and from Brest roughly every two hours in the off-peak. Passing in the opposite direction is set number 302 on the 1146 from Brest to Paris Montparnasse. Services to and from Lannion start from Guingamp. This is the 1234 departure. We now move east to saint Brieu as Class X2100 unit number 2148 approaches the camera with the 1348 service from Rennes. Nearly one hour later, and it is the turn of Z73588, which is forming this local service, the 1435 from Rennes to Brest. In the opposite direction, Z55500 unit, number 57, heads towards Rennes, on a return driver training run. After the 1108 TGV service from Paris to Brest has passed us, using set number 348, then it was the turn of this Z27500 unit to pass by in the opposite direction, working the 1607 saint brieu to Rennes stopping service. Finally, we are at La Baratillard, just south of Dol de Bretagne, as Z27721 heads south, 
with a local service from Saint Malo to Rennes. In this section we move to Hungary and the busy main line linking the west of the country with Austria. The route is the principal passenger and freight corridor connecting Vienna with Budapest. We chose a number of locations including to the southeast and also in the town of Hegeshalom itself. Motive power can be varied and features a high number of trains operated by Austrian state railways. We will see this as the section unfolds. We begin just southeast of the country station here at Level, as the 0728 railjet service from München to Budapest heads east, powered by 1116208. Thirty minutes later and DB's 478-001 heads a container train bound for Austria. The loco will work as far as Hegi Shalom, just five kilometres away from our current location. Local services on the line are almost entirely in the hands of these Class 425 units, which operate services into Austria. They are almost identical to OBB's Class 4124. Bidirectional working is a feature of this line. Here we see 193880 being overtaken by 1116204 one, just a few moments later, working the 1140 Budapest to München.
We now move around two kilometres closer to the main station at Hege Shalom as Class 425 Unit number 10 slows for its next stop. The date is the 13th of June 2016. One 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 six two one six is on the rear of this train bound for Budapest. Next up, it's the turn of Austrian class one 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 six zero two nine, slowing with this westbound freight containing car parts. This is 470-009 at the head of EC145, the 1439 from Vienna to Budapest. The crossing just to the east of the station offers some of the best views for photography, especially in the afternoon. Here we see 116214 powering the 11.30 from München to Budapest. The time is just after half past four. Four three nine zero one two is seen leaving the yard with hoppers bound for the nearby stone quarry.
Shortly afterwards, 63011 had cement wagons bound for the Bratislava line, which branches off just north of the station. Eight minutes later and 1116014 heads a westbound set of hoppers. The time is just after 5pm. The station is now a hive of activity as 1116213 heads for Budapest, forming the 1639 service from Vienna to Debrecen. Two four seven five zero six heads a local service for Sorna. Gisev, who operate the units, bought nine of these ex-Austrian class five zero four seven units from OBB in two thousand and eleven. Two have subsequently been sold on. Finally, 425007 once more heads out of the station on a stopping service for Gyor. In this section, we travel to the Italian island of Sardinia and to the delightful narrow gauge line that runs up from the city of Cagliari on the south side of the island, north to the small town of Mandas. The route we follow is shown by the thick black line on the map. Operated by the Ferrovi della Sardinia, which was taken over by the Sardinian authorities as part of their ARST network in 2010, the line today caters for metro passengers as well as locals and tourists. We begin our journey in the south, at Settimo, to the northeast of Cagliari. It is where the electrified metro section of the route terminates. Having been completed in 2015, this modernised railway offers a high-frequency local service into the heart of the city. The electrified lines terminate in the platform on the right, whilst the diesel-operated section continues into the hills on the left. Services operate from San Gotardo, just to the south of here, and north through to Mandas. 
although the middle section of this line is currently closed due to engineering work and a bus service is used instead of the train. At the north end of the station we see a service from Mandas, formed by a 1995 built class ADE90 single rail car. In the opposite direction a sister unit hauls a non-driving trailer whilst forming a return service from Monserrato, San Gotardo to Mandas. This is the scene at Barali as the ADE90 plus trailer formation heads north. In order to gain height the line zigzags its way up the hillsides. Here the unit is seen north of Sueli. This is the section north of Mandas towards Isili at the junction with the line to Arbatax which sees a tourist only service between June and September from Arbatax to Goro and return using a class ADE01 diesel railcar. The service departs from Arbatax at 0830 for the two and a half hour ride returning from Goro at 1700. There are 15 ADE01 units on the books, as well as 11 of the similar class ADM51. Both classes were built by Fiat Stanger in 1957. Many are currently withdrawn or stored. This one heads down the grade north of Suelli on a service from Isilli to San Gotardo.
In addition to the rail cars, the line operates Type LDE 500 and 600 centre cab diesels, built for operations on the island in 1959 and 1960. This is LDE 600 locomotive number 603. We follow the train north towards Mandas. This is Mandas, and sister locomotive number 616 comes out of the depot building and into the sunshine. Meanwhile, number 603 arrives with its train from San Gotardo.
finally we see an ADM-51 unit arrive with a service from San Gotardo, which is on the outskirts of Cagliari. The service terminates here at Mandas. As you can see, this island and its railways are well worth a visit. France is our next country of choice as we take a trip to the northeast of Paris and the electrified main line linking the capital with Compiègne and Saint-Quentin. We chose a number of locations just to the south of Compiègne and to the north of the junction with the line that branches off down to crepy en valois The line is still a favourite place to see a good mixture of local hauled passenger workings as well as having fairly buoyant freight flows. We begin just slightly out of area, close to Tourny, as 22274 heads south with one of the typical local hauled services seen on this line, the 1247 saint Quentin to Paris. The date of our filming was the 11th of October 2016. We are now at the first of our main filming locations, next to the village of Armancourt. As one of the other class of locos seen working passenger trains on the line, ABB 15,000, heads north with the 1433 Paris to Compiègne. The loco in question is number 059. These double-deck trains only operate as far out as Compiègne or Saint-Quentin on peak hour services. Freight traffic tends to be aggregates or infrastructure workings. Heading north we see 75036 and 75106. Infrastructure trains generally operate to and from the large yard to the north of Tourny. This is 75097, heading north at around 10 to 4 in the afternoon. The next train was a complete load of rubbish. Well, quite literally. This is an empty load of refuse containers from the recycling centre at Villiers Saint Paul. The train is worked by VFLI Voslo G1206 diesel number 1740. The train is headed for either one of two loading points at Compiègne or Noyon.
Meanwhile, 15059 returns from Compiègne with the 1610 service to Paris. These trains are expected to be replaced by new electric multiple units in the next year or so. Number 15059 entered traffic with SNCF on the 1st of June 1978. This was followed by 27092 on a rather lightweight train of just five tank wagons. The time is just after half past four. The use of BB22200 will come to an end during 2018 and 2019 when 10 Corradia liner units are introduced to replace them. This is 22228 on the 1538 Mubuge to Paris. Moving south, we are at the junction with the freight only line up from Aumois Villiers and the main line from Cré. Heading south is 22321. Not far behind was 22399 on this infrastructure working, heading south along the line towards Aumois Villiers. Heading north with a trainload of hoppers is 75014, seen passing through the station at Longueuil saint marie This is at the western end of the three-way junction here.
some of the shorter distance commuter services from Paris to Compiègne are formed by Z26500 4 and 5 car units, such as this train which comprises set numbers 521 and 516. With the line now clear, 22349 heads north, powering the 1719 Paris to Maubeuge. A handful of freights use the western end of the triangle, including this one headed by a pair of BB 60,000 diesels. The northbound track of the line up from Umois Villiers crosses over the more busier tracks from Cray before joining on the level just to the east of our camera position. Heading over the formation is a Euro cargo rail class 186 electric, filmed at 20 to 7. By now the sun was beginning to set, throwing up some lovely golden light across the landscape. As the freight was given priority, northbound commuter services are seen queuing up due to the adverse signals. On the rear of this service for Compiègne is 15037.
Z26500 unit number 559, which is also numbered as set number 430, heads south, forming the 1809 service from Compiègne to Paris Nord. With the introduction of new multiple units in the next year or two, the sun is about to set on the remaining locomotive hauled passenger trains in France. Here number 22339 heads north with the 1819 service from Paris to Cambrai at just before 7pm. In our final section we continue with our two-part feature looking at the main freight line linking Duisburg in the north with Dusseldorf in the south, in the busy Ruhr region of the country, close to the River Rhine. Our locations begin in the north, adjacent to the once extensive yard at duisburg Vidal, before we stop off at a number of photographic locations south towards Lintdorf. We start off slightly north of duisburg Entenfang station, here at Bissingheim, as 1277805 heads this short rake of covered VTG soda hoppers north. Summoning all the power it can muster is 203126, belonging to Rail Transport and Infrastructure Maintenance Company, Rail Docks. Heading north is this empty coal train from Neunkirchen to Oberhausen, headed by 189044 and 042. Right behind, this is North Rails 1261302 on train DGS 98568 from Köln Eiffeltor to Marl. Pairs of Class 189s are staple motive power for the regular iron ore trains from Masvlakta to the west of Rotterdam to the steelworks at Dillingen. This is train GM48713, booked to pass Lintdorf at 10.08, but on this occasion running about an hour late. Locomotives involved are 189046 and 033.
232254 was employed throughout the day on shuttling lime trains between Oberhausen and the quarry at Flandersbach. Here it is seen heading south past the now overgrown and largely disused yards, running as train ID number T66153. Steel coil trains are fairly common here. We believe this one is train GM47280 from Bremen to Erang Nord in Luxembourg, powered by 185160. To the south of the yard, on the west side of the tracks, is a large infrastructure depot. A convenient road overbridge offers this view of the passing rail traffic. Heading south are 193211 and 185523. Both locos are hired to Vienna-based Echorail. Two six five zero one six heads north with train GM six zero three eight seven, conveying lime hoppers from Flandersbach Quarry to Duisburg Mannersmann. Following along behind, some 13 minutes later is 152157, heading south with train GC60463 from Meers to Ludwigshafen BASF factory. Train GA52842 is the next to appear at 12.30 hours behind 152088. The service conveys Audi cars from Bad Friedrichshall to Osnabruch.
a half kilometre south and we find this crossing at the southern end of the infrastructure depot. 185262 is seen approaching the camera. Two three two two five four had made it to the quarry at Flandersbach and is seen returning on a train for Duisburg Mannersmann. One five two one oh five heads south with intermodal train KT four one two oh eight from Duisburg Ruhrhorthafen to Saarbrücken Grenze. Twelve sixteen nine five four head south with train DGS four zero two two three from Rotterdam Valhaven to Mortara in Italy. Just two minutes later and 189023 heads south with train EZ45717 from Kaifuk to Köln Gremberg. One eight nine zero five three passes in the opposite direction with Austrian cargo wagons from Wolfwurt to Moordijk in the Netherlands. One eight seven five three zero two is in charge of the Saturdays only DGS nine five three four one from Marl Chemical Works to Köln Eiffel Tor LPG tanks. One two seven five eight four five passes just to the north of Lintorf with lime hoppers bound for Dornap Hannenfurt.
During our visit we were seeing between six and eight freight trains each hour. This is a very late running DGS 41952 from Wels in Austria to Duisburg Ruhrhorthafen. It is powered north by 1116, 168 and 041. Clearly there must have been problems further south in Germany that day, as it also delayed this northbound intermodal. 1216955 is five hours late with its train number DGS 41130 from Budapest to Rheinhausen. One eight five one eight four heads towards the camera with a freight from Hagen Warhalle to Grimberg. We now move south around a half kilometre and to the now closed station at Lindhof, which we also featured in part one in the last edition of European Railway. Mixing it with the aircraft is Rail Pools 185517, with a paper train from Grizzignano in Italy to Dortmund Scharnhorst. This train runs twice a week. Heading south we see 189067 and 070 on train GM48731 from Rotterdam Masvlakte to Dillingen Steelworks. The time is approaching half past three. One five five zero three one is next to show its face. This XDR workhorse is hauling a mixed freight from Oberhausen to Gremberg.
Right behind is 185144 on train number EZ51226 from Zielza to Gremberg. One five five zero four eight heads train EZ five one four three eight from Grimberg Yard to Zielce. The time was twenty two minutes past four. In the same direction we see 151127 on GM60289 from Gross Kreuzenburg to Oberhausen empty coal. This train was running three hours early. Finally, heading south, we see 274107 on empty lime for Flandersbach. As can be seen from the video evidence, this is a busy and diverse freight line, with a wide range of locomotive types to be seen. As always, we hope that you have enjoyed watching this edition of European Railway.